Fighting and beefing among female celebs is nothing new in Hollywood in the industry and can get very messy with punches being thrown both virtually and in the real world. <coughs> Nicki Minaj, Cardi B. <coughs> but this wasn't the case for Jada and Gabrielle, who had beef for 17 years. Like none of them said a word about it publicly. They just hated each other in private and there was a lot of gossiping and bad mouthing going on behind the scenes. Now Gabrielle has finally gone on the record, spilling tea left, right, and center, and has said what exactly happened between her and Jada and why she thought she was better than Jada. Okay, so for a little backstory and to understand where they are both coming from, Gabby and Jada both started their Hollywood careers in the 90s. Like they've both been grinding before then, but they had their breakthroughs at about the same time. This means that they ran in the same circle and were close to each other. You know, like they knew about their competitors and were very hyper aware of each other's achievements. Gabrielle and I were never really girlfriends. We no. were great associates. Jada even described Gabby as a great associate who wasn't a friend. But their lack of rapport was so awkward that up to a point, they didn't know how to greet each other when they ran into themselves in public. Oh, girl. It's like, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, fist bump. <laughs> And this is actually kind of weird because they both put on this front of women who uplifted other women and just branded themselves to the world as lovely and self-centered women. Gabrielle was always all smiles and Jada was always so understanding and so go girl. But I guess this was only skin deep and none of them really meant it, which is why Gabrielle felt that she had the license to say she was better than Jada and to prevent a messy scene, Jada just had to let it go. So here's one thing you must get. Jada started out her Hollywood career before Gabrielle. She started in an episode of True Colors, while Gabrielle didn't start until later in the 90s. Before then, she was a commercial actor making good money. But when she came into the industry, Gabrielle quickly became an it girl. Like producers wanted to work with her and she was getting all these juicy roles in the industry. And before you say the sky is big enough and the beef was needless, you must understand that at the time, not many great roles were reserved for black actresses and the competition was stiff for the girlies because it was an either or situation and this is something that even Nia Long has addressed. The women that were I was in constant competition with mostly it was me and Jada. I was like oh do you want the brown skin spicy girl or do you want the light skin spicy girl? Like for Jada and Nia Long it was the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. They both auditioned for the same role and Jada had to be dropped on a flimsy excuse, but then another role wasn't created to accommodate her. And whilst this incident didn't turn Jada and Nia into enemies, I'm sure the competition got into the heads of Gabby and Jada and it just became so heated. So while Jada was enjoying the limelight, it felt as if Gabrielle just came out of nowhere and stole all of the attention. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that Gabrielle is a better actress than Jada, cause y'all know that ain't true. She just got more big roles. She even starred in Friends at one point, which was like one of the biggest shows around that time. So yeah, she was popular right out of the gate and that must have made her think that she was better than Jada. And here's a user who agrees with me. Gabrielle won that feud though. She was literally everywhere back then. Bring it on, 10 things I hate about you, bad boys too, she's all that, two can play that game, deliver us from Eva, all within like two years. She was on a roll. Moreover, speaking of bad boys too, while Jada and Gabrielle started their feuding in the late 90s, Gabrielle starred with Jada's husband, Will Smith, which must have made her mad. Like imagine hating somebody then boom, they're the love interest of your husband, being all lovey-dovey with him in a movie that shook the entire industry. And while some people might be cool with that, I don't think it went down well with Jada. Like, it got personal. But aside from that, there was also the part where Gabby was a self-acclaimed mean girl. Like, think Regina George, but make it black and beautiful. This party, what low self-esteem you have. Mm. <laughs> or that. Right. And it just, it, it, that was, that's what it took. She got me right between the eyes. Right. It was harsh in the moment, but then it was like, damn, right. I have been communicating through negativity, I've been shrinking other people, hoping that I'm growing. So I think that she must have said something that set things off. And Jada got to know or hear through associates. And y'all know how things celebs say easily be taken out of context and turned into this big malicious statement in the industry. Because everyone plays a part. Everybody plays, Everybody a, part. plays a part. 
Yeah. Now, if you ask me, I'll also say that Gabrielle was jealous of the success of Jada and Will's marriage. Gabby got married to Chris Howard in 2001, while Jada and Will Smith were married in 97. But obviously, Jada had the better marriage. And I know a lot of weird stuff and speculations have come out about Jada and Will's marriage in recent times, like the entire entanglement thing. But in the 2000s, Will and Jada were that it black couple. On the other hand, Gabby wasn't happy in her marriage right from the beginning. And this is something that she had publicly talked about how they were both cheating on each other. In our first marriage, neither one of us felt like the marriage should get in the way of our dating. <laughs> Then her marriage came crashing down and her show got canceled and she just hit rock bottom. And while she was down, it just seemed like Jada was prospering, raising her kids. Around the same time, there were also rumors that Will and Gabrielle had something going on behind the scenes. And maybe they did have a fling. I don't know, but Jada might have also taken that personally. This user said, Will and Jada has an open marriage, so it wasn't a surprise that Will and Gabrielle has a fling. Gabrielle was the only one that had Jada bothered by having an affair with Will, allegedly. Now, a lot of people talk about how Gabrielle is successful and beautiful, so she shouldn't hate. But I don't think that is always true. Like this user said, Gabrielle Union having low self-esteem shocked me. She is drop-dead gorgeous. But her revealing that will show a lot of people that confidence is not just skin deep. And I just agree with them, but Gabrielle also has a lot of struggles aside from her marriage. She recently opened up about she was sad when she was younger, and there was the part of her marriage to Dwayne Wade being threatened because before before she gave birth to Javia, she was shamed for being older than he was and not being able to birth children. Like, you know, he deserves a younger woman that can have kids for him. He deserves uh, a whole woman. He deserves a real oh woman. My Lord. Gabrielle has obviously worked through her issues, which is just so wholesome to see. And although she has transitioned out of being the mean girl who enjoyed everybody else being miserable or being the only one who had the spotlight shown on her, she didn't reach out to Jada. And some fans say that is because Gabby never really stopped being a mean girl and she was just saying what everyone else wanted to hear. Like this user who said, I'm so sick of Gabrielle and her I'm no longer a mean girl routine. Gabby is still that same mean, hateful person. She's just learned to parrot the things people want to hear. And this other user said, who thought she was the sweetest? We always knew her mean character in movies was the real her. And I mean, I do get where they're coming from, but Gabrielle herself has said she had to put in the work to be the better person. And y'all know how it is when you fight with someone and you don't really know what started it, so you don't even know how to end it kind of situations. And I just think that is what happened here. But then Jada reached out to her for the red table talk and they buried the hatchet and tried to work their issues out. Although some fans are still not buying it and think they only did it for the gram. But if there was one thing that stood out in the whole debacle is that for the whole of 17 years, there was no call out, tweet or shade, which was like very mature of them. And when the time came, they decided to get past that. But what do y'all think? Do you think that Gabrielle is better than Jada and more successful? Or do you think there was no need for that? That beef. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I'll see y'all in my next video.